communication with Katie Easter. She's joining us live from Franklin. Katie. Hey guys, I'm not too sure what happened just now, but I am here in Franklin. I'm in one of three neighborhoods that are starting to flood. I'm in the, in the Hazelwood district, but of course there is the Blakely subdivision and the Eastwood. Now this is about a football length away from the Bayou Tesh. You can see Amos going and give them that. Um, you can see this person's backyard is flooded, but you see the fence there isn't where the Bayou Tesh starts. The Tesh is actually beyond that. So Amos, come on back on over here. You can tell that this road is very flooded and you can almost tell that the Bayou Tesh is about to start meeting the road here, which is pretty flooded. Um, you know, residents are, or at least the mayor is very concerned about these people. The city has been out of power now since Friday, he told me 92% um, of the city is still without power. Franklin does have a curfew, so if you're watching this and you're in this region, your curfew is for 8 p.m. tonight. Of course, now there are more cur there's more curfews throughout the entire area here, so make sure you keep an update with that. But again, so this neighborhood right here is flooded. Where I'm at is only to my ankles, but Amos, if we come on over here and we start stepping down here, it does start to go over my boots. So. I mean, these people are really starting to get flooded. The Bayou Tesh, I mean, they were concerned that it was already up before this, and this, this storm surge has really started to push in these flooding waters, and more and more waters are coming up. Um, everybody here is really hoping that the wind changes directions and the water starts to push back out. I mean, the mayor's been doing the best that he can to really help these residents. They've been um, really cleaning everything out, really starting to pump out this water to hope and to get all this flooding water out for these people. So in Franklin, Katie Easter, KGC, TV3.